Hey all, and welcome to the next Cyberdrain Tech in 5 minutes. Today we're going to be talking about Universal Print. Universal Print is a fairly young technology that was recently released out of public preview and into general availability by Microsoft. Universal Print allows you to connect to printers, or at least to a printer to connect to Azure, to be able to print from anywhere at any time. It's sort of the evolution of the classical print server. Of course, not all printers currently support Universal Print yet. So Microsoft also developed a connector that you can use for your older legacy devices, or in the case that you still have an on-site device that's able to access the printer at all times. So let's jump into that, shall we? One of the first things that you'll need is the Universal Print License, and it's included in all Microsoft 365 Business Premium and Up subscriptions, or in the separate Universal Print License. It's actually very straightforward. You assign the license, you download the connector, or you connect your printer. So let's jump into connecting the printer part first. There's a lot of printer integrators, which are simply printer companies, that have created a universal print connector inside of the printer software itself. Brother, Kyocera, Rico, all these large manufacturers have already decided to start supporting universal print. Ask your vendor if your printer is currently supported for Universal Print, and if it's not, don't worry. At that moment, there's still the Microsoft Universal Print Connector, as you can see if I've selected it here. This is a little executable that you'll have to download and install on any computer that is always on. It's important to have that computer always on, and don't just select random user devices, because when it's off, users won't be able to print to that printer. So first off, we're going to download the Universal Print Connector, then we're going to register our printer, then we're going to assign some permissions and install the Universal Printer on a Windows device. Let's jump into the Azure portal and see how that looks. So I've already set up Universal Print. You can go to Universal Print simply by going to the portal.azure.com page, clicking on Universal Print, and then clicking on your printers, for example. I've already added the printer, and on that printer you can see the properties as you would normally on a print server. For example, I'm now going to the printer properties and changing the letter size, so the size, to American, North American letter. I currently save this, and it immediately processes this for all the clients that are currently connected to the printer. But how do you connect that printer? So, like I said, you have to download the Universal Printer Print Connector. When you do and install it, you'll be presented with this screen. At that moment, you'll have to log on. I'll be using my temporary tenant for this right now. So you enter your credentials, and after entering your credentials, you'll immediately see a new screen. You'll have to register your connector, and uh, you can use any name for that. In my case, I used Kelvin's laptop. When you're presented with this screen, you can choose to send diagnostics automatically, or you can enable the hybrid AD configuration, which also allows your classical Active Directory domain to use Universal Print directly. Adding a printer is as simple as adding the checkbox and hitting on register. It'll then be processed into this list and added to the service. You can then select to sign out or simply close this window. As soon as you close this window, you'll be signed out and users can't make any more changes to this, but the printer servers will remain running on the background. So we'll close this right now and we'll go to our print shared printers. So, back in the universal printer interface, we have printer shares, which are, just as you classically would create them, printer shares. You click on add, and here you actually have some cool options to share the printers directly to specific users. In this case, we'll share a printer with Adele. We'll enter the name, we'll click on the printer name, and then we'll click on the user. Click on the share printer button, or we could also select, hey, all users are allowed to use this printer, for example, if it's a major company printer. The moment you click on share printer, you just wait for a couple of seconds, and after it's, after it's been shared out, it's super simple for a user to add the printer. All they have to do is open printer and devices, click on add a printer or scanner. You have to wait a little bit, and the printer will appear in this list. If it doesn't appear directly, for example, you have many printers and the user can't select it, they can click on the search universal print for printers instead. Another cool benefit about this is that you can specifically say which users can access which printer and even report on which users are using the printers. Microsoft has created a couple of uh, usage reports in which you can say, hey, how much has each printer been used, how many print jobs have been created, uh, which user has created, has has printed most during this specific period. So those are pretty cool reports. So you can actually go in depth on the information. Um, you can also select document conversion, which allows you to maximize the functionality for supported devices. 
for example, you have a device that normally doesn't accept PostScript, uh, you can add document conversion and, will, and it will always co convert a document before sending it to the printer, adding some support for those older classical printers that you have. Let's recap that, shall we? Universal print is a method of connecting to your printers or connecting your printers to Azure when you've developed a cloud-only model or a cloud-first model. It also helps you removing print servers and takes that workload and puts it into the cloud. It also allows you to print from anywhere in any location at any time that the user is, uh, is present at. Another cool benefit is that you're able to easily share your printers to specific users and devices without them having to install a printer via Active Directory, group policies, all that kind of stuff. It's a very straightforward procedure. So I hope you'll, you've enjoyed this video and that you'll all start using Universal Print. If you have any more questions or, or comments, please leave them below. Remember to like and subscribe to this video. See you next time.